Hello and welcome to 60 Second Gamer. I'm doing one this week. <laughs> it's fun. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> My name's Rich Hatton. Hello, Rich. Hey, uh, uh, yeah. As you can hear in the studio today, I have my retrobates, Simon Bright. Hello, good morning. And him over there called Anthony. Oh, no. uh, And, well, I can say we are going to talk about Hello, Rich, but I think it's probably <laughs> just going to be me. A well, one sided yeah. discussion. I, uh, yeah. I, I can get involved, I just haven't played it. Well, I have. I, I was mental and bought the legendary edition. You swine. I can it. afford I've, the, yeah. the box is huge I've seen it <laughs> this is the point where you go I've, I've got, got huge <laughs> wads of cash <laughs> I do have huge wads of cash I'm available as a, a boyfriend <laughs> 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 just leave it at that I, I, am, I am available <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go into any more detail with that, I don't think. No, I think that's fine, leave it. Yep. So yeah, as I say, we're going to be talking about Halo Reach, well, I am anyway, because... Yep. Um, I'll be butting in with humorous remarks. Yes, and you can repost me every now and again yeah. when I say something funny. I have my pointy stick on hand. Good. <laughs> it's not in my hand. Hang on. That's a no, he's he's going to find his pointy stick. <laughs> he has a, a, a mannequin. <laughs> he has a wooden man. The mannequin will do. Right, so either way, you're going to get poked. It's either with an arm or a Nazi leg. <laughs> the choices. So yes, um, he's, he's cupping himself as well. <laughs> the, the wooden man, not Simon. Yeah. Well, uh, he, could, he is yeah, as well. Yeah, he's, he's mimicking uh, the mannequin. Why not? That was that was a tough one to say. <laughs> mimicking yeah, the mannequin. Mimicking the mannequin. <laughs> mimicking the mannequin, mannequin. Indeed. <laughs> So yes, um, carry on. Halo Reach. As everyone probably knows, this is uh, Bungie's last Halo effort before they part ways with Microsoft and well, become an Activision were... hussy. Yes, I think yes. they've probably already parted ways with Microsoft. Yes, uh, and it's the last game in the current Halo series that well, it'll be under the Halo title anyway. I'm sure Bungie will re- continue to yeah, release well, games in the future. It's under like um, Halo Wars because that wasn't a Bungie game. No, it was someone who's closed now. Yes. Another, f- oh, I don't know who it was. I'm gonna go and pick the game. I'm gonna go and find it. Keep talking. But anyway, um, if anyone who has played Halo in the past will know, the game set on Reach. Um, so the story is pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, Reach is, in a word, fucked um, by the Covenant because they oh, have sorry. found Reach uh, after various shenanigans, uh, which are explored upon in various books, which you can purchase off the interweb. And um, they've set about trying to wipe out humanity. Um, the game is actually set before the very first Halo game, which itself was released on the first Xbox. Uh, and that game, in a, well, they say it redefined the shooters. Yeah, so I, I really enjoyed the first Halo yeah, game. I, yeah, it was something completely different. Well, I say it's completely different. It was an FPS, and it still is. Oh, I can join in with that, but yes, it was. Yeah. I played that one. <laughs> about well, we'll do a, a review. At a later Soon. date, yeah. Where, if and when a console would allow us to, yeah. If we can get our hands on an old Xbox, if you've got one you want to donate. No, no, to no. Us. I, I, it plays on my Xbox 360. Oh, okay then. Ignore that. But. Never mind. Move on. And Halo 2. Though those two are definitely backwards compatible. Good. Because I still go. own them. Oh, well, there you go. So have you found out who did Halo Wars? I think it was. I'm, I'm looking. It says Havoc. No, that's the. That's the engine. That's the physics engine. Yeah. Was it Ensemble Studios? I've got a feeling it might be. It will say it should say on the back there, look. Be careful. It just says Havoc and Microsoft. That's rubbish. Ensemble Studios, there we go. I am for the win! It was Ensemble. It's on the back of the manual, it's not actually in the manual. It's on the, back, on the back of the manual. So yeah, Ensemble Studios uh, had a jab at their own Halo game. Halo it was like Wars. A, an RTS. Or it was an it? RTS, yeah. I've never played it. <laughs> I've had it for 12 <laughs> months and I've not played it. And I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling that Reach may be one of the missions on that. So, Ooh. But anyway, in a, um, going back to the story, um, you play as a new member of the Spartan team, uh, Noble team. You are Noble 6. He is number 6. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not <laughs> a number. <laughs> he is a free he's man. He's a free Spartan. <laughs> And uh, actually, you could actually do a very good combo there of the prisoner with three hundred. Yeah. And <laughs> Halo. Indeed. Oh, shit. 
In fact, that may be something I need to remember in the future, but carry on. Yes. Yeah, so you play as Noble Six, new member of uh, Noble Team, coming into uh, Reach as a replacement for a Spartan who has been killed in action. Deceased. Uh, yes. Um, Moddy Bund. No, that means dying or about to die. Sorry, he is yeah. dead. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> but you take over this place. And what I also like about the store, obviously, the story is the Covenant Fund. You've gone through all this anyway. Yes. I'm, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, the story is what gels it. Yes, and obviously I, at first the, the Spartans are very reluctant to have you in their team. Uh, they consider you a lone wolf. Um, it's not really. He's a crazy man. It's not really expanded upon <laughs> as to why he's got this reputation or she, because the Spartans can be ladies. Oh. As a, yes, it doesn't help to be sexist in a in the future world. No, especially when humanity is on the cusp of defeat. Yes, every little helps. Indeed. As part of the great Tesco empire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, you, you end up going on a few scouting missions to begin the game with, whereby you re- quickly realise things have gone very, very wrong. And it just progresses from there. Yeah. Um, also, what I do quite like is the fact that you have a, a space mission. You go into space, fly yeah. some ships. Oh, yes, we saw some of that. Yeah, it's on the review. You review, can yeah. catch that out on the, the YouTube channel. Uh, me flying around in a spaceship. Not actually flying around in a spaceship. That'd no, no. Ludicrous. It'd be fun, I'd imagine. You'd be pulling a few Gs, though, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd be blacked out, I'd be dead. Ah. (laughs) I'd be dead. But, uh, yeah, you can... um, They've expanded upon that, so it doesn't actually include just the first-person combat, first-person perspective view. The the space bit is actually quite good. It it did look quite quite interesting. Yeah, it was very playable, which brings us on to the gameplay type. Yes. The review. Um, It's Halo. That's all I'm going to say about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I can't really fault the Halo engine. My only problem, I understand on this game that you can sprint now. Yeah, you get various abilities you can pick up, um, sort of like how the equipment worked in Halo Three. So you can get the um, the equivalent of the bubble shield, um, the gravity spike, the not gravity, but the the gravity jump. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else you could do? Um, some sort of shield uh, compressor thing, which you could use to bring down shields. Um, but yeah, these are all. Uh, discarded and replaced with other abilities. Um, the main area you can use though is probably online. Yeah. And in the firefight mode, which has been carried over from uh, ODST, the previous Halo game. And uh, was that a prequel as well? That was set in the, the in during Halo Three. Oh. But you Elsewhere. played as a, a I sort of orbital like shock drop trooper, drop trooper. Hence the ODST part. Yeah. Of the uh, it's. It's strictly speaking, yeah, a DLC pack that was released on yeah, disc, isn't it? It's full not price. It was a bit naughty. Of we'll do a review of that at some point as well. Yeah, I need to get, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So as I say, it's, it's Halo basically. The the new bits, um, you have a shield uh, lockdown, which means in if you're being overwhelmed by enemies, you go into a lockdown essentially, and you become invulnerable for a few seconds, but you are still viable to be killed after when you your come shield out has it, come out yeah. of it. Yeah. Uh, cloaking device which is extremely useful although you can be spotted if you move too quickly as you'll see in the yep. review uh, I used it and someone still saw me swine <laughs> multiplayer people uh, the flaming pack. skulls yes <laughs> I have a flaming skull because I bought the legendary <laughs> maybe that was edition. what gave you away <laughs> <laughs> why is that I'm fire happened. randomly moving on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> floating <laughs> fire yes uh, and uh, a jetpack which brings a new element of aerial gameplay into the, the multiplayer side of it. And the sprint, as we've mentioned, um, useful. I'll admit it's probably my most used um, secondary equipment, I suppose you can call so it. My, I know Master Chief was supposed to be this like super badass and everything, but even so, in, in the first few games, I really wanted a sprint button. Yeah. Just because I get bored mm-hmm. of just ambling around. I need to be moving. Speed. Power. A speed demon. He needs a Jeremy Clarkson. Yes. Power. <laughs> but yeah, that's the new additions to the gameplay. Obviously, what well, those new abilities make it a bit more playable. Not that there was much wrong with it to begin with. No, it's place. sort of refinement. Yeah. The graphics. Of, yeah. What they've also well. carried over is the fact that you have to pick up health every now and again. Um, little bit of a bugbear of mine. Um, I can see the the appeal of it. Um, because obviously, if you are, if your shields are down, then you will take damage. But I don't know. I just don't think it sort of fits in with the Halo ethos, really. 
I may be wrong, but that's just my opinion, mm. my two cents. For uh, what it's worth. Yeah, yes. not a lot really. That's why no. it's two cents. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, with regards to the graphics, I read somewhere that graphically speaking, it's uh, sort of tenfold that of what the the polygons were on Halo Three. Yeah, uh, to, to use a, a pretty bad pun. It's uh, they're on another planet. Very troll, very They they have uh, that's one of the things that Bungie have improved upon is obviously the graphic side of the game. Um, sort of essentially, that. Halo Three and ODST were slightly higher too. definition <laughs> versions of of Halo uh, the, of the Xbox Halo engine. So they've pretty much rebuilt it. Uh, Which is looks, good to know. I mean, if they're going to oh go yeah, out in the high, they might as well. You mean you only have to look at Reach itself to realise the effort that's gone into it, um, especially the beginning levels where you take a, a hike through some country and you get these random little creatures running past you and the water's all really nicely animated and the the grass looks pretty. And I still think water is one of the earliest things that computer games developers have ever got right from like Mario Sunshine onwards. Yeah. Like the GameCube, two thousand and one onwards, water's been spot on. Yeah. I think. But, uh, but I mean, obviously, it improves along with everything else, and it looks yeah. a lot better as, <clears throat> as everything else. But I think water was the the first thing that that looked real. Yeah. In a video game. And it, it, you can, you know, it, I think it helps that the graphics are obviously a much better improvement over what they were in the previous games, um, especially when the, the Spartans. They actually take their helmets off as well, mm. which is nice. You get, to Blasphemy. See them, you get to see them as real people, which I think brings a, a slightly more human element and yeah. the desire to care more a little bit about your character. Saying that, I mean, going this amount this far into the series as well, I mean, it, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's like, <clears> uh, like going on to Dead Space very briefly. It's like when that you know you they demask Isaac and now they're giving him a voice in the second game, and that you know that sort of. Even if he's a bit <coughs> whingy, from what yeah. I've heard of the drivers, but, but yeah, a review for another day, indeed, yes. indeed, as it often is. But yeah, it's, I, I, I think it helps in some instances, like with Master Chief. You, you, you're not supposed to relate to him really. You're supposed to just no. be him and sort of be this super soldier and everything. But in in other instances, as the the franchise goes on, you need to be able to. You need to be able to have characters that you can emote with and and care about and care about yes yeah that's the, the one I was looking for yes and obviously you know even when they take the helmets off and you've got all these new characters it, it, and when the enemies are on the screen everything does look very shiny and pretty which I think is a big plus yeah over one of the big bugbears of the Halo series where it looked a little dated but now it's up there with one of the you know the best looking lot one's out there so I yes. say it's almost it's I don't think it's was, spiffing from what I've seen it's on par with games like Metal Gear and Uncharted well nearly not Uncharted. quite as good as Uncharted no though. I don't <laughs> think anything's going to quite catch Uncharted no. apart from the next Uncharted um, <laughs> Uncharted can only catch itself yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to combine the next two circle. bits yep. into sort of one the modes of play and multiplayer yep. because the modes of play obviously you've got the campaign which is your biggest drawer well, I'm not, I'm not really for Halo. I think the biggest draw to Halo is the multiplayer. Yeah, it's it's <coughs> like Call of Duty. Most people buy that from the multiplayer. But yeah. I mean, they play the campaign, but then they'll most likely spend ninety eight percent of their time with the game on the multiplayer modes. Yeah. I'll admit. Oh, there is I'm, also oh, sorry. I'll, I'll admit I only bought Met, uh, not Metal Gear, Call of Duty for the story. I've only ever played it online about five times. But the, the problem I find, I mean, this is common across. Halo, Call of Duty, whatever. If you're not one of these people that play online very often, you often end up in a game full of people that have just played it to death and they just come and whoop you as soon as you, you get in and it's no fun at all. What I will say about Halo though is that you can it actually match makes you to people of a similar skill set. Ah. That's good. That's it, that's something that needs judges, to do. It goes by your online I think it's the the arm the rating you get, how much you've played it, you can even filter out if you want to be playing for fun or if you're going to be serious so they you cannot be serious <laughs> they are being serious that's why they put it in there right, right, right. so <laughs> you cannot be serious then you play the fun one yeah yeah I like um, it works I, I, oh, my, it, my, my gag works yeah 
<laughs> Call of Duty Can't, doesn't I, do that. Call of Duty. No, I think that's one Deep thing. Deep that, end. That's one thing that Halo um, have done. I, I think Bungie, Bungie, have Bungie done are good well. in, in that yeah. respect. They they look after you. Um, yeah. There's not so much hand holding. Well, that's why Halo Two stayed online for so long as well. Yeah, yeah. It's very very until there's very only one popular. person left. Yes. Mm. Um, also carried over from Halo ODST is the firefight mode. Uh, this wasn't mentioned in the review. Obviously, time limitations. Yep. And whatnot. Um, only a minute. Yes. <laughs> but uh, firefight mode is essentially um, similar to Gears of War's horde mode whereby you face endless waves of enemies and try and survive for as long as possible on a limited amount of lives. Um, oh. You can do it single player, which I tried. First night I bought it, I had a little play on firefight mode. How long did you last? Uh, quite, quite a long time, actually. I, yeah. Well, <laughs> relatively speaking. <sweet. laughs> I was playing it on Heroic, which isn't legendary. No. Um, no, well, obviously. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but that's still like the next level of hard. Yeah. Up from normal. <laughs> Which and, I usually uh, play on. Yes, yes, I do um, normally play on legendary now. Which is to go at you with the <laughs> with the mannequin. My, my perfectly modelled mannequin of a camp. The, the camp mannequin. <laughs> yeah. But oh, yeah, ooh. the five fight mode is um, local play as well as online co op. So <laughs> it's something that's all good. I don't know what's going. On. Sorry, I just suddenly saw it. And it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? He spread eagled himself. His legs are kimber. Oh no, no. He's gone very pigeon toed. Uh. Oh god! <laughs> he broke his knee. <laughs> oh, wait, the springs to come off or something now. There we go. Broken ah. leg. <laughs> A broken leg, lovely. Oh. Yeah. Carry on, sorry. Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> so yeah, the firefight mode was brought over from ODST. And it still works incredibly well, and obviously any points that you do earn. And one thing I didn't mention as well, um, it's not points as such, they're classed as credits. And you can use these credits earned from doing various daily challenges or weekly challenges, which you can find in the game. Um, you can use these credits that you do earn to buy new bits for your armour. So the customization side has gone up from... Um, Halo 3 where you can change your helmet chest plate and a couple of shoulder pads you can now uh, do your helmet your chest plate your visor colour um, legs ankles wrists with loads and loads of different combinations crotch. of stuff no, I'm not sure you can do your crotch uh, maybe on the next one maybe on the next one <laughs> just Ooh. just modify that yeah <laughs> Big long cod piece, I'm really yeah. <laughs> a black adder style cod piece. <laughs> yeah, hello, um, ladies. So yeah, I, that that's something else that you could, that is also quite a you know a nice thing that they've done uh, the customization side of it. Um, and I say the credits you earn from single player, multiplayer, all go towards it. And obviously, the more you I play, the more you earn. Yeah, it's not not an essential. No, it's thing, nothing. But, it's but a none nice, of the yeah none nice of the none of the new pieces add anything different to your armor. Apart from cosmetics, you know they yeah. don't got offer you plus ten um, fucking shield because it's not an RPG. You know, that's not what Halo is. It's <laughs> yes, yeah, it's all about shooty fighty. Yes. It makes you look badass. Yeah, or you could just look like a complete retard. Antony. Hey, Antony. <laughs> yeah, I'd go in with no armor. <laughs> you just, well, you just you underwear, gun, off you go. White yeah. fronts and, and, a, and, a, and a little pistol. Yeah, water pistol to or be the, precise. Well, or, or even the um, the noisy cricket from Men in Black. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a fun downloadable weapon. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Which leads us on to the console exclusives and downloadable content. Yes. Side of it. Uh, at the moment, um, it's an Xbox 360 exclusive, not even on the PC. So, PC owners. Not even on games for Windows, that's. No, PC owners have been royally punched in the crotch there, seeing as they've had Halo Two and Halo. Yeah, have, have we? Um, is there much uh, with regards to DLC? <clears throat> uh, just announced a new map pack, which will be out um, sometime in the near future. I can't recall the date exactly. It'll probably be something like <coughs> eight hundred points or something. Yeah, like they're normally eight hundred points. It'd be about four or five new map packs. Uh, map, map four, pack. four or five, four new, five maps new maps within the pack. Yeah. Within the pack, yeah, that's what I was after. Mips. Mips. So yeah, I'm sure they'll be constantly looking to shovel out more and more maps as time goes on. I think Halo as long 3, as it's profitable. 
Wow. Halo 3 had about four or five map packs yeah. in the end before that, you know, finally ceased to be um, funded through. <laughs> but finally ceased to be. For it, well, it means this, you know. <laughs> It's still up there as one of the biggest played online games, so but Reach is, you know, catching it up and slowly taking it over. So yeah, yeah keep your eyes peeled for the map packs. I mean, obviously they're of pretty good quality normally. Um but, you know, we're hopefully not gonna be outpriced like Modern Warfare Two's map packs. No. So. Yeah. Ten I, quid. I think not. They're all actually half price. Or they they have been half price on the store. I'll be honest, uh, I but wouldn't give a shit. Even so, I'm 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 not that bothered. <laughs> no. I've got plenty like, of other games yeah. to play. I mean, they're not essential, but if you wanted to be in with the in crowd, I suppose, then... You yeah, know. if you've got 10 quid to burn, why not? Yes. Which a lot there of us haven't. Yeah. Um, the last one is really just user-friendly. I suppose if you can play first-person games, then you can play the Halo. I never used to be able to, and then slowly but surely... I've gained the skill! The ability came with time. Bubble get. Uh oh. Okay. Anything else? That's gonna wow. So it is you it is user friendly. Um you can obviously change the difficulty depending on how hard you want it to be from the pussy setting of easy to the hardcore setting of legendary, which is what I'm trying to get through on my own, which is very, very hard. As you'll see from the review, I died quite a lot on the <laughs> Some space very level. impressive deaths, I yeah, have to say. Yeah. Frippin' dual-wielding elites piss me off because you can't dual-wield yourself. You could in the other games, though, couldn't you? You could in the other games, but not in this one. For some reason, they decided to take it out. Not very queer. So, yeah. Oh, can I? All in all, though, I oh, do... I just punched you in the toe. <laughs> just punched my big toe. <laughs> so, yeah, all in all... um. It's good for uh, for Bungie to go on a high. Yes. And I can thoroughly recommend Halo Reach to... I will get it eventually. Yeah. I, I am planning to get it, just I can't afford it right now. And At full price, I'll wait till it comes down a bit and, and buy it then. Yeah. So, yeah, Halo Reach gets my thumbs up. Because um, I'm the only one who's played it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up in, in advance of playing it, because I'm sure it's brilliant. Yeah. I'll give it a thumbs up because I probably won't buy it because I haven't got the console. But it looks yeah. good. You're, it you're, looks you're, nice. You're stuffed, really. Yeah. I haven't got a 360. I've been shafted so. either way. So there we go. Thank you very much for listening. You can check out all our other podcasts on the website, uh, yes. randomstoke.com. Yep. Check out the YouTube channel for all our other uh, random videos that we've done. Um, that's youtube.com forward slash randomstoke. That's the one. Uh, if you want to get in touch, please do. Info at randomstoke.com. We love your emails. Even though we don't get any. Oh, no, we've had, a f- oh. we've had one. We had one. Oh, yeah, have we? So far. Yeah. Of who? Um, some chap saying, your downloads aren't working. Oh. And they sent another one saying, hang on, they are now. So there you go. No. <laughs> Even trivial ones like that we will take seriously. Yes. Yep, I, I answered it the same day. I thought so, you were going to say it was someone possibly going, I'd miss some online stuff out of a review. Or whatever. No, no, no. Maybe when we... Uh, when the, the new videos go yeah, up. I'll probably get a yeah. thumbs up for giving <laughs> Saw a positive review. You get a thumbs uh, up thumbs and down, 17 sorry. thumbs down. Yeah. Because so people hate you. Just because you yeah. see my name the, and go, the in, down! The internet hates you, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Trump. <laughs> and the controversial reviewer. Yeah. So, yes, there we are. Thank you very much for listening, if you have been, and we'll see you anon. Right.